What's going on guys, it's Classified, and today we're going to be taking a look at two of my favorite planes to grind SL with, the A4E on the Israeli tech tree and the A5C on the Chinese tech tree. If you got some extra cash in your pocket, I highly recommend picking up one or even both of these planes, you will not be disappointed. Now I know there's a lot of other premium vehicles out there that give you, you know, an, an SL bonus, but this is just my suggestion to those who have asked me in the past and want some gameplay footage to help with that purchase. Before we keep, move on to the video and the gameplay footage, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as it will help me be able to produce more videos for you guys and better content in the future. guys here we are in the a4e and as i was making footage to make this video for the sl grinders people were wanting to spend some extra cash on on the on the game to just to help help with that pain of going through the tech trees obviously grinding that rp in the in that nation and not being able to purchase that that vehicle because of that sl just wasn't there right it's not there can't get it just dangling in front in front of you you've grinded that tech tree you've grinded that plane you've grinded that nation but you just can't buy the vehicle now this vehicle will help with that indefinitely the, this this plane is not the best fighter it's obviously not the best uh the most durable uh plane but that's not the purpose of this right it's the sl that you want to grind it's the it's the amount of bases you're gonna bomb, it's the amount of AI you can destroy, and if you can, sneak in a kill, sneak in one or two kills, and you know, that's obviously gonna help promote the, the SL at the end and the bonuses that you're gonna get for the gameplay. And the, the main thing that you really wanna focus on with this plane and then the A5C is the, your win rate. Your win rate is very, very, very crucial in getting that, that bonus. But with winning, there is also losing, right? You, cannot, you can't win every one of them. It's nice to get that extra bonus at the end. But what the most important part as well, obviously in a sub, uh, part from winning is being able to maintain your SL that you have while you're losing. So whether or not you've got uh, a base in the beginning, whether you just got in there and you got missiled right away, you weren't even uh, able to drop the bombs off of uh, off of your aircraft uh, Both of these planes have an amazing SL retention rate and as you could tell in the video if you are keeping track of like how much SL I'm having up on the HUD up, up above I really didn't have any trouble uh, finding footage for this plane and uh, being able to Get a good game in be able to get that SL and show you guys with it without being too uh, picky with the footage I'm getting or uh, how many videos I'm taking I'm making the SL is pretty consistent with the videos and that just just goes to show and prove that the time is well spent in this yes you, you're not always gonna win you're gonna get up tiered and but your attention rate it, that's what is so key the the repair cost is so small so minuscule and the benefits and bonuses of these planes are just what make a, the difference in making a premium vehicle purchase and it might not be the plane you want to grind or it might not be the the nation you want to grind but if you can grind out the nation you want to in rp and you can research the vehicles you need Having one or two vehicles where you can just go ahead and play for the next like two or three games while you're waiting for that crew to unlock on your nation. These two planes will help with that. They'll be able to make up the, the loss that you made in the previous game with the plane and the nation that you're wanting to grind. And give you an extra bonus as well to help ease that pain of losing. And I know all of the points and all these claims I'm making... You must be asking yourself, put your SL where your mouth is. 
And as we get this last kill in this game, we're gonna look and see what we're making at the end of this. So, as you can tell, <laughs> it's insane, right? 102,000, two kills, two, ba two, two bases bombed. It's kind of insane. And as you can see, the history of this plane, it's kind of crazy to think about. You know, 126 games, 342, 3.42 million uh, SL. And I'll just go ahead and show you real quick on the top tier lineup. We have this not being that far behind as far as percentage goes, right? I've got a third less games played in my A4E than I do in my MLD. And my MLD is only like a few million. So... Here we are on the A5C for China, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. Sometimes, sometimes these games are just gonna be boring. Um, there's no real good way to to put it. Um, but if you just like to chill, if you wanna, you know, if you wanna just have a good time, put on some music, uh, get a cold one, sit back, relax. Enjoy some SL, enjoy the game a little bit. Maybe you're going to work or going to school in a few minutes and you want to get a good couple games in, get some SL. You know, these are the planes you want to use. Um, these planes, the A5C in particular is amazing uh, because of the fact you get bombs and every base you bomb with the full loadout of uh, the bombs I just had, you pretty much make up the cost of if you were to die right away, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, especially if you get up tiered, you bomb a base, you die right away. You really didn't, you just lost time, really. You didn't really lose anything. Um, and I <laughs> see an AI here and wind him up. Now, the only thing about this plane I really don't like is the guns. The guns are really, really hard to use. They're not that fast. Um, so I use them mainly to ground, ground and pound. Um, and take a take out AI ground a, ground AI targets, but this plane is a boat. Uh, be very careful on doing that. Make sure you are managing your speed properly, and make sure you are not going to hit the ground. Now this F105D is gonna face uh, face the magic here in literal terms. Uh, these missiles are insanely good. They rarely get flared out, uh, depending on how well the, uh, your opponent flares, the timing of his flares, and all that stuff. This game, uh, we pretty much get that kill, and we go and land. Now, one of the things I do want to showcase on this plane is the landing of this plane. The air brake, the parachute, uh, it's very, very, very fast, as you can see here. We're kind of coming kind of hot, uh, and... We're just slowing down and when we land hit the brake button and your time on the runway is very 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 low so if you just wanted to go in there bomb a base come back reload rearm go bomb another base you're fully well capable of doing that with still having more enemy targets to be able to to destroy and just increasing that sl percentage at the end of the game what an amazing plane this is i feel like this is probably one of my favorite planes and the only thing that really sets this back for me is i really like mobility like the a4e has is the roll weight the turn radius obviously you can't hold too many g's because it'll break its wings but i really like that type of style of plane but this plane is just a very patient plane it's a very uh, you can't really, it's more of a, a zoom and boom, if you will, and uh, or boom and zoom, cognitive dissidence. Anyways, <laughs> it's just a great platform. Uh, it's fast, it's, it's, it's not very nimble, but it, it has the magics, it's, it has the, the engine power to get away from trouble and come into a close on this match. It was pretty boring, I just went ahead and skipped through this. Uh, didn't want to too much but as you can tell you can pause what I did there and see what I was able to get for that plane and what we're gonna see here for the SL and not too shabby 61,000 
uh, and some 25,000 research points. It's quite the plane to grind SL. And here's just a quick history of what I was able, what I was able to do in this plane out of 415 battles, some, just over 10 million SLs. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope it was informative, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of the above, it would really help uh, the channel, and let's look at the damage done. See you guys on the oh next one. God. Later! Oof. Let's go, we ended with 1.25 million SL. I'll take it.